All right, friends, welcome to another episode of ZBrush on the iPad. So today you're going to need to channel your inner fruit ninja. That's right. We're going to be slicing and dicing up in here. So first things first, uh, I'm just loading up a cube, you know, feel free to load up whatever you like. Uh, and just to ensure we get accurate cuts, we want to turn off perspective. So we're going to tap that so you can see we're in orthographic mode here. I've got symmetry on currently. Um, and then if we look at the polyframe, you can see resolution is relatively low. Uh, slicing with the knife works best with uh, higher meshes, okay? So the way we do that is press and hold on Dynamesh. And we'll drag this up to 400 something, hit Dynamesh, works its magic, sliced it up, we're at a million plus polys, and we're good to go. Uh, let's see, I think I want to <clears throat> scale my mesh up a little bit. So I'm gonna grab the Gizmo 3D, just scale it. So this is kind of a similar process to you know, how you would think of carving or sculpting, probably carving is the correct term, something out of marble, right? So turn the Gizmo 3D off. We're going to hold down Control and just drag with the mask to re mesh since we, you know, stretched out the image there. Uh, you can keep your floor or get rid of it, floor grid. I chose to just get rid of it. And then we're good to go. So uh, let's pick up a, a different matte cap. Let's see, let's go with this matte cap metal one here. And it doesn't matter which one you do. But first of all, to initiate your slicing brush, you hold down these two buttons over here. And then you'll see this menu down here. And by default, it's on this select rectangle, right? But we want to go to the knife curve. And you might say, why do why would we do curve? I mean, all it and why is it called curve? Because every time I slice with it, it just stays straight, right? Well, that's why we're here. You gotta quit slicing like a noob. <laughs> um, another way is the knife lasso so let's just look at that and I'll do a nice clean quick slice through but you can see look at that mess it's all these jaggedy jag jags well how do we get rid of that well let's undo it and let's go back to curve and let's use it the right way right so we're going to start to drag it and we can see my shadows on the the right hand side here which is what we want. Then we want to start our curve about right here. So what we do is we tap the Alt button and then it starts to curve. And we can play with the curve. And then if we hit Tab or Alt again, it, we can throw in another curve. And Alt again, Alt again. Let go. And now that's buttery smooth. Super smooth. So that's how you cut with smooth curves. All right. So let's say we wanted to slice and change direction, but we wanted it to be a really sharp change because we want to cut off this upper corner. So right now, if I just hit Alt and do that, you know, it's a little sharper depending on how I maneuver it, but it's still rounded, right? We want it super sharp. So slice, go down, double tap Alt, and then you've got yourself a nice sharp corner. Look at there. Now, if you're like me, when I first learned that little trick, your mind might just be blown at this point. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. So. Let's try something else. Let's say we're slicing. We do the double tap. We go to change direction, but we're not happy with the position of the whole thing. Well, 
hold down this button and you can move it around. Yeah. We, we decided, oh, we just want to take off a little piece up here at the top. There we go. So slice, slice all at once, rounded. Oh, try that again. Okay. Slice, double tap, sharp cut. Okay. Sweet, huh? So just with those functionalities alone, the uh, slicing here in ZBrush with the curve brush or curve setting is a lot, a lot more enjoyable. Um, let's say we want to, I'm cutting from above and I want to slice in a little piece here, but we've got our symmetry line happening here. So you would think that if I just double tap this and go straight down, they would overlap and I'd get the right shape, but no. When you go across the symmetry line, it just kind of gives up, but that's okay. We can fix that. So if you're on your front view here, you see the guy in the top corner staring you straight on. You want the side that you want to mirror, you want that to be over here on the left-hand side. So to do that, just hit uh, this menu here, deformation, mirror on the X. So now it's over here on this side. Then when I go back to geometry, modify topology, mirror and weld. Now we've got a nice symmetrical piece once again, right? So just some little gotchas. Another thing is if I start slicing here in the middle, Even if I exit, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it, it doesn't like that. When you're slicing, it wants a nice clean entry point and an exit point. So let's try that again. Coming from up here, double tap, and we can do some crazy stuff. Double tap, go this way, double tap, double tap, and try that action. And see, that worked just fine. Look, we got the starts of like a, uh, microscope or something, right? You put your little tea tree dish here or whatever it's called. Petri dish, whatever. Tea tree shampoo, pe whatever. <laughs> um, so that comes in handy. Now at the beginning I talked about the shadow. Let's say I start dragging from this direction and you can see the shadow is over here. Well, that's the direction that it's gonna delete. So if I, you know, the reason it does that is because of which way I start to drag. So I'm dragging this way, shadows on this side. I drag that way, then the shadows flips to that side. So you can do this and hold down this button over here and then move it into position. Or you can just, you know, pull a new a new line. You know, again, if I start down here and I start to cut yeah, you're going to have problems, right? <laughs> That's probably not what you intended. So you'd want to start up here, pull down. Now our shadow's on the correct side, and it works as intended. Alrighty, so those are some quick tips and tricks on slicing with the curve brush here in ZBrush on the iPad. So get your slice on, my friends.